All right, so welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, this one's going to be about using presets in MetaSound. So the idea of a preset is that you can reuse uh, your graphs. Um, so you don't have to keep making the same thing a million times. So what does that look like? Uh, say, for example, in our last tutorial, what we did is we added a sound to this ticket machine here. So it has a buzz happening. Let's just listen to that really quickly. So the idea is that, okay, that's great. We made a meta sound graph that makes sense to play back uh, sounds for an object. Uh, but what if, what if we want to use that same graph uh, on many different objects, but with a different sound source, a different wave asset, for example. So that's what we're going to do, going to do here. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is just convert this meta sound that we made in the last tutorial. Um, uh, so, so that I can reuse it with a, a different wave asset each time. So in order to do that, uh, I'm going to uh, make this wave set an input, wave asset an input. So I can promote it to graph input here. And that's all fine and great. And now when we look, look over here, uh, if I've got it selected in the uh, details panel, uh, you can see the default value is actually already set to that same asset. So in theory, nothing's really changed here. So we still have the same sound playing back. So that's all fine and great. Um, but let's say I want to actually use that, uh, but I put a light buzz sound in there and use the same graph. So I'm just going to, to rename this meta sound because now it's not just a ticket machine. Uh, I'm just going to call it, let's say, uh, object ambience template or something ambience uh, and I'll put template at the end because this is a graph that I'm going to use several times for my own organization I'm just going to pop that in this templates folder here and now uh, if I right click here I can choose create meta sound source preset okay so what does that mean so if I create one of these presets here what do we get okay I double click and you can see that this is our uh, graph that we were just looking at. I'm going to double click here and we go back into that original graph with the uh, wave set asset input. Um, but you can see that we can actually change that value now. We can reuse the same graph. So if I come over here and just override inherited default, I can select a different, a different sound. So in this case, I'm going to use a buzzing electricity sound and I'm going to add this onto a light. So what I've effectively done, you know, I've just reused the same graph and changed that one aspect of, uh, of the, the one input here. So that's all fine and great. So just to keep things organized and so I don't get confused, I'm going to rename that new preset that I made. I'm going to rename that, let's say, uh, MS uh, Light Buzz, I guess. And I'm just going to pop that into this folder here so that it seems organized to me. Uh, okay, so let's see. I didn't actually even check about this light. Let's see, we got a spotlight here. Okay, so spotlight 12. So same thing as in the last tutorial. I'm going to do this quickly because uh, we've done it already. So convert this actor to a new subclass or to a blueprint uh, and create a new subclass going to add my audio component uh, and this time I'll have to select this um, myself so I'm going to select MS light buzz and same as before adjust the attenuation settings again I'm just doing this quickly because we've already looked at it and if I compile and save that the idea is that now that same meta sound graph I can hear that Here's the ticket machine and the buzzing over here. So that's essentially it. We can uh, just wanted to demonstrate that here. We can reuse our templates. Um, we can reuse our, our graphs to, uh, you know, lots of different purposes. So this gets really interesting when we start to, to make more complex graphs, especially this is just a simple example. So hope that helps and that um, gives you an idea of what you can use presets for in MetaSound.